everyone, my name is Lisa Nichols and today I'm going to show you how to do a fractional distillation on some red wine. And I'm assuming that you've already watched a video or have done a simple distillation already. The only difference is going to be inserting a fractional column into the setup. So since we're already familiar, why don't we zoom through the setup. You can get your heating mantle preheated, pour some liquid into a round bottom flask that you want to distill and add a few boiling stones to ensure smooth boiling. Then very importantly, clamp it very securely to a ring stand. And here's the new part. So here's a fractional column. They have various different types. The ones that I have have little glass beads in it. And if you have glass beads, you probably have something that's preventing those beads from falling out. So first just take that out. Uh, we have a little, it's a little glass wool plug. And then you just set that into the round bottom flask. These columns have little nubs where you could hook up hoses, but we actually don't want that. We want it open to the air. And that's the fractional column. And now, now the rest is the same. So why don't we go fast again? And next goes the three-way adapter and here's our thermometer adapter. We push that in delicately and that goes up there and it just ends up being a really tall setup. That's the main thing. It's just really, really tall with that fractional column in it. Next is the condenser. And again, you want to wet the hoses with some water first so that they can twist on much, much more easily. And then the awkward part of trying to connect the condenser up to the three-way adapter. So I normally clamp it um, and then, oh, here I actually plugged it into the, the faucet too already, but now we've got to get it up, up there. So I have the, the clamps semi-loose, you know, sort of holding on, get the angle mostly correct, position it, secure it with a yellow clip and then fasten the clamps a little more tightly to, to have it very solid. Notice the whole thing is vertical and we're going to finish off with vacuum adapter and something to collect our distillate. Everything looks good. So I'm going to start heating it and make sure that's really tight, tightly connected, and then turn on the water going in the bottom up through against gravity and drain into the sink. So let's skip some time and see what it looks like once it's really going. So here our liquid is boiling pretty vigorously. If we look at the column, we should see it looks pretty wet, but there, there is sometimes a little bubble going through it as well. And we look up at our thermometer. It doesn't really look like much is happening here, but you, the condensation is not always visible with certain, certain uh, solvents. Um, so it is working even though it's not super obvious and you can tell that it's working because if you look off to the side and you go into your, your, um, receiving flask, you see drips. So it is working and it's slowly distilling a drop every couple seconds or so. And that's, that's the whole process. It looks good. And when I, um, stepped back, I noticed, oh shoot, look what's happening to the liquid. So sometimes if, especially if you overfill the flask, like I might've filled it a little bit too much, you'll get it um, spitting up a little bit like that. So if it, if that happens, you haven't ruined it, uh, just take your heating mantle and lower it and, you know, reduce the heat somewhat to try to calm it down. But it really isn't a disaster if you do have that because um, the liquid is not going into the distillate. So it's still salvageable.